welcome back up until now we were looking at heat transfer devices as open systems then we looked at work transfer devices as open systems where we looked at turbines and compressors we looked at their hs diagrams and here we assume that the open system was adiabatic that is there is no heat transfer then we looked at an adiabatic nozzle where the main purpose was to increase the velocity of the fluid we look at another adiabatic device now where we do not expect either heat transfer work transfer or an increase in velocity we just expect the fluid to flow through a duct and you realize that a duct is a very common system in many many engineering systems we have ducts going from the boiler to the turbine we have ducts which are connecting uh, compressors to um, condensers and etc so we can have a simple open system as a duct where we have an inlet and an exit of course we expect that whenever we have a duct if it's well insulated the q dot is zero we don't expect any work transfer from it and it's not a nozzle where we expect the velocity to increase and hence we will write the first law as follows just writing q dot minus w dot s is equal to m dot h e minus h i plus v e squared by 2 minus v i squared by 2 plus g z e minus z i and we draw a schematic of the duct let us say this is the system there is an inlet the duct probably went out like this we do not know there is a change in z there could be a change so there is a change in z there could be a change in the velocity and there could be a change in he but overall we expect that it is well insulated and this is nearly equal to zero we definitely do not expect shaft work out there is no work output expected so this we put as zero so what do we get as first law we get h i plus v i squared by 2 plus g z i is equal to h e plus v e squared by 2 plus g z e. So, this is what we get from this equation. Now, if we think of a situation where the temperature does not change and it is a fluid like an ideal gas the u also does not change and since h is equal to u plus p v we say if so this is an if here if u i equal to u e probably because the temperature does not change then instead of h we can remove the u and write only p v here and since p v can be written as p by rho we would have an equation instead of h i we would write p i by rho i the remaining terms would be the same and this would of course on the right side be equal to p e upon rho e plus v e squared by 2 plus g z e now this is a reasonably familiar equation if one has studied fluid mechanics this is nothing but the Bernoulli equation one should of course notice that in fluid mechanics this equation was derived from the momentum equation along a streamline here we have used the energy equation the first law for open systems to derive it so one can look at how the procedure was to derive this equation in fluid mechanics and here but this is what we get for a simple fluid flowing through a duct and this is of course an adiabatic system we could write down the second law in this case and since q dot is zero we would get that s e actual is probably greater than or equal to s i which is what it will always turn out for an adiabatic system and, 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 and an adiabatic open system i should say thank you